coming in to talk to us about thank it. Thank you very much. John Bird, thank you. They say where there's muck, there's brass, but now where there's muck, there's a new source of energy. And uh, by the way, we really are talking muck, so I warn you, please don't let Gareth Furby put you off your tea. Every single day, Londoners produce up to half a million tonnes of, well, what can you call it? Smelly stuff? Well, it ends up here, normally, on sewage farms to be treated. But now they've got a new idea. We start here with one of the end products of our treated sewage. Wastewater, poo, call it what you will, comes into here and then we dry it. And just in case you think they're making this up, let's just prove they're not by seeing what's inside. Our sludge comes down the pipe, travels all the way along, and then it goes into our dryer. Inside the machine, the paddles are rotating and we're also providing heat. So here we are, our end product, dried sludge, a renewable fuel ready for use. And it's said to burn almost as well as coal. The idea comes from Japan and was developed in the United States. And you've got an unlimited source of energy in theory. In theory, yes, you do. Because it never stops. It never stops. It's the same every day. The same every day. And, and there's millions. People are regular about it. So we have a supply of the raw material. It comes from our customers. And we have to find a way of treating that raw material in the most efficient way and the most environmentally friendly way. And this is a, a contribution to that. Do you like your job? I'm new to my job. Three weeks in, I think it's a fantastic job. Here am I already. Not a bit uh, smelly? Uh, it smells great, this product. It's a really good product, and I'd be quite happy to use it at home on my uh, tomatoes. So that could be another possible use, if you don't mind the smell. But for now, it's the start of a new development in renewable energy, just online in Snow. Gareth Furby, BBC London News. I did warn you. OK, Wendy's here to save us uh, with a look at the weather. And you're going to bring us some lovely news. You're my favourite person. Yes, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to be so as well. Uh, not everyone's favourite person, of course. We've seen a very heavy shower go across London.